We're exploring rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number and we'll start with looking at rounding 2.8 to the nearest whole number. Now a nice way of thinking about this is to use the idea of a number line. So here's one I've made earlier and there are spaces for whole numbers. I'm going to put two at the left hand side and three at the right hand side and the intervening values I'll put decimals. Let me show you what I mean. So there they all are. You go from two the 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, right the way up to 3. We can now visualize actually looking at the value 2.8 and just see where it is on this number line. Here it is, here. And all we then ask ourselves is, well, which end of the number line is that value nearest to, the 2 or the 3? Well, clearly, it's nearer to the 3. So the answer to round 2.8 to the nearest whole number is simply equal to 3. Let's do another example. Let's this time round 2.4 to the nearest whole number. I've kept the same two ends, 2 and 3, just to make life a little quicker. But now we can very quickly see 2.4, which is here, just below halfway and therefore it is just slightly nearer to the 2 than it is to the 3. So quite obviously rounding 2.4 to nearest whole number is equal to 2. Okay let's do one other and this one is going to make it a little trickier. Suppose I've been asked now to round 2.5 to the nearest whole number. Well 2.5 if we think about where it lies on that number line is exactly halfway between 2 and 3 there's no obvious direction we should go in. We could just as easily argue to round it to 2 as to the 3. So which one do we choose? Well, there's a convention in mathematics. When you are exactly halfway between two possible values, two possible answers, we do what's called rounding generously. We round up. So 2.5 would round up to 3. And this is true of all rounding questions. Once you get down to the resolution of interest, 5 rounds up, above 5 rounds up as well, and below 5 rounds down. In other words, 5 and above, you round up, and below 5, you round down. And that 5, of course, is referring to the digit beyond the precision that you're looking to round to. Here, we're looking to round to the nearest whole number, so the digit we're concentrating on is the first digit after the whole number, in this case the first decimal place, but we do have to give some thought to that. So let's do some practice and here are four numbers and in each case we wish to round to the nearest whole number. And I'd like to use a number line to help me, so here's one in place and let's put some values in for that first number for 13.2, so I'll need values going from 13 up to 14. Okay, and let's mark in 13.2. There it is. Now we can pretty easily see that that is nearer to the 13 end of the number line than it is to the 14 end. So 13.2 rounds to 13. Okay, let's try 27.5. So I'll lose those numbers and put in some values for 27.5. Now 20.7.5, well this 5 is exactly halfway between the 27 and the 28, but as we said earlier we round generously. 5 and above we round up, below 5 we round down. So 27.5 rounds, the nearest whole number, to 28. So that wasn't too bad. Okay, and again I'm going to get rid of that. Now 104.1, that's a large value, but exactly the same principle applies. I can put in some values from 104 to 105 and just mark in as before 104.1 and I can see there that it is closer to the 104 end of the line. So again just getting rid of that arrow. Now for the last one 3.49 You'll notice what I do with my numbers on the number line. I don't use both decimal places, only the first decimal place. 
I'll explain that in a moment, but I, my number line goes from 3 to 4 in steps of point 0.1 as before. And I don't want you to be tempted to think that 3.49 first rounds to 3.5 and then to 4, but to be aware that 3.49, if I mark it here, is just below 3.5. And therefore it does, in fact, round to 3 and not to 4. In other words, what I'm saying for this question, and it implies to all the questions we've done so far, is you only look at the first decimal place. It is that digit that decides whether you round up or round down. The ones we did prior to this only had one decimal place, and therefore that rule of five and above round up, below five round down, was pretty straightforward. But when you have more than one decimal place, you only consider the first decimal place and simply ignore second or even third, fourth, fifth, etc. decimal places. And that's an important point and a subtle one. So you do have to concentrate and give some thought onto these. Well, okay, I hope you found that of some use. Thanks a lot.